You were just checking the law, eh, JJ? Yeah, so, you know, obviously players' swings can change a little bit, Absolutely. and we're trying to make sure start lines match up with direction control. Um, so we're just tested his live and we're adjusted them and so then we're going to go back and test again so we're a couple swings just to feel turf interaction and, and look at a dress and then we'll double check them because some were okay and some were up and some were flat in effect basically wouldn't they yeah and again i mean there there's still the golfer portion of it so yeah, we don't want to get too far off um you know if we just made bad swings yeah so we put stuff in a in a nice little progression based off some changes he ha has and where he wants to see the ball starting. So strangely enough, he said he's missing left, but we went upright because his ball was actually starting right and he was hooking it. Yeah. So it isn't always a one-to-one. -one. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, normally we'd say, well, that should be pushing it, but a better player is always gonna try to put the ball back online. So we have a player here whose ball was pushing right, so he was over hooking it. And is, so now he wants to be cutter so we need to start online to left so he has room to cut yeah okay Pretty good there. Good. I think when he has those starting lines right, and he can feel like he can move it both directions, if he starts trying to chase one shot with just lie, then he's only got one shot. Yeah. How's that looking, JJ? We're pretty close on the wedges. The 52's a little off. 56 looks really close. Now 60 has to hit a lot of shots, so we want to make sure it's versatile in a couple places. Yep. Through that lie, JJ, on those irons, because that's counterintuitive to what lots of people would think, isn't it? Yeah, the big thing here is, you know, we, we want to look at the total flight of the golf ball and from impact to the whole thing. So for a good player, the starting line matters a lot, and they're going to change face angle to get the ball to move towards target. So in this situation, as we moved it upright, we shifted start line from right of the target to on line to left of target. So we gave room to hit straight or be able to control the face and have the ball fall right versus ball start right feeling like we have to close the face. And now we start over doing and we start getting big more sweeping hooks yeah, for, a, for a cut player. It's hard when the ball starts right to feel like they can you have room to cut it. Yeah, I like that. I mean, that's definitely slightly different, but I, I'm liking what, where you're going with that. We we have a lot of our draw players in a flat lie angle. We have yeah. a lot of our cut players upright. I like it.